Hi guys, I'm here with what I got for Christmas. I've moved the camera a little bit closer because a few people had said that I was too far away and I agreed when I looked at the, I don't really watch my videos, but when I, I watched them back when it said that and I agreed that it was too far away and you couldn't really see stuff and I was having to lean in. So let me know if this is any better or if it needs to be closer or further away or whatever. Let me know how this is, how you find this. Hopefully it's a wee bit better. I know it's been a little while. I'll explain that in the end. I'll show you what I got because I'm already late. This is the 7th of January and I'm just posting what I got for Christmas and I think it's been about a month since I had a video up. Terribly sorry. We'll explain at the end why. Um, so let's just get on with it. This is the 7th and it's actually my birthday tomorrow on the 8th. So hopefully this will be going up tonight. I think it's about 10 o'clock or something just now. So if Mark does editing really, really quickly, we could get this up tonight and it'll be up. So hopefully I'll be able to film a, what I got for my birthday video. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get started. This is what I got for Christmas. Also, one of the reasons I wasn't... Oh, there we go. I've just said I would leave it to the end. But just as an explanation, there's a couple of things that aren't in there and that is pyjamas. Some people want me lovely, fuzzy, just gorgeous pyjamas and they're not in here. One of the reasons I wasn't here, I was, wasn't well, we all had the flu and it was pretty awful and there was not a lot of washing getting done. <laughs> I had to use the jammies that I got for Christmas because basically I ran out of jammies. There was no jammies in my jammy drawer so I had to use them and they're now in the washing machine. So they are not in there but there was jammies included in this. I just don't want MD watching it and thinking, I've got her jammies and she's not showed them. That is why ran, it was needs must, had to use the jammies. Anyway, let's get started. You know I love My Little Pony. Well, look at what Mark found for me. This gorgeous My Little Pony blouse. What I like about this is, a lot of times you get like, I also like Care Bear stuff as well. But you, I like like My Little Pony, Care Bear, that kind of thing. But normally you get them and they look very kiddy like because obviously it's My Little Pony, it is kind of aimed at kids. But this is very grown up. It's like a very grown up blouse. You know, it doesn't look like the style of it is very like grown up looking. And, except it's my little ponies all over it so it's just i just love it it's nice and flowy and it's just it's got the sleeves that you can either have down or turned up i just love it i don't know where he got it it says i obviously don't know how much it is that's it i'm going to have to get used to it every time i pull in something out i'm going to have to think i don't need to say the price because they were gifts but i just think this is absolutely gorgeous and the colors are so i don't know if it's coming off sometimes that i've got a ring light thing and it's sometimes like washes out colors a little bit but it's really really vibrant and how gorgeous will that look in the summer if i can wait till then to wear it i might have to wear it with a cardigan just now because it's just so okay why does everybody wear wear bright colors in the summer and then really dark colors in the winter i mean when it's gloomy and stuff in the winter it would be better with bright colors to like brighten things up and it would make you more visible if you're like out and crossing roads and stuff and I don't know, it just seems like you should wear bright colours in the winter because it's gloomy enough as it is. So next thing I got, wait, let me see. This is in no order whatsoever. It's just all kind of been sitting in there since Christmas. These, I absolutely love them. Was with my mum when I when we saw these and she was stuck for things to get me, so she picked these up for me. They're slippers, except they're like, you could wear these out because they're like, they're not any different to the ones that you get that you wear out because they're the, they're like hard soles. So you could wear them out if you wanted to. They're like little slide slipper things and they've got the velvet big bow on the front and I just think they're so cute. They're just so, not wear them out at this time of the year, but maybe in the summer, but I just think they're absolutely awesome and I think they'll be really cool for wearing about the house or out if I decide to, but I just, I love them. I think they're gorgeous and I think this colour is really, really lovely. So I've got those and let me see, let me see what is in here. Oh. There is a pair of pyjamas that has escaped only because it's shorts and t-shirt and I've been absolutely freezing. This is the only reason these have escaped. It is these little rainbow bottoms. How cute are these? I think Davina got these as well and when she got them before I got mine and I was like, oh, I love rainbows. I'm so jealous she got rainbow jammies and then I got the same ones. So got those. We've actually got several pairs of matching jammies, Davina and I do. So I've got, I usually like write my name on the label like with a Sharpie so that I know which ones are mine. Anyway, a little rainbow bottoms and on the top top looks like this it's like the muscle back top and it says what does it say sparkle what's it say Sp uh, sparkle positive vibes and it's got the rainbow again and the sunshine and the clouds and it's ever so cute and they're from Primark and my mum bought me those and also I think these are from Primark as well these are my little pony little footlet slipper things just cozy comfy slippers and the little My Little Pony design, love those and let me see, these I absolutely love, I tried these on the shop, these are from Primark, I 
absolutely love these and they fit so nice these fit like they're designer boots or something they fit so so well it's as if they've just been made to measure for my legs i absolutely love them and they're so i don't know if you can see that the heel on them is really cool it's like black and then clear but it sort of graduates into i just think they're just really you know i like like different stuff and kind of weird stuff and i thought these were just a little bit different because they're not just like a solid black heel they actually go over the knee so they're like thigh high and they're velvet but they're not that I don't like velvet gives me the heebies but this is actually I, I don't know if I'm getting more used to velvet or velvet just doesn't feel the way it used to I don't know but this feels absolutely fine it doesn't give me the heebies at all it zips up on the inside so the outside is totally smooth and they just fit really well and the thing about these boots is because they're like material I sometimes find that they gather down and sort of start slouching down and working their way down your, their leg. These ones don't, they seem to just hug you really tight and they're just perfect. I absolutely love them. Oh, and my house phone's ringing, excuse me. Sorry about that guys, that was my house phone ringing and I always get a fright when my house phone rings because I never use my house phone. But I put my mobile onto silent because I was filming this video and my mum must have tried that and then she tried the house one. So it was my mum. She's loaded with the flu as well. It's horrible. It seems to be getting absolutely everybody just now. This is from my sister. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got bath salts in it, body wash, um, or all the scents I think are orange blossom, vanilla and jasmine, which just it smells, well, it doesn't smell so lovely. I don't know what it smells like. I've not owned it, but it just sounds so lovely. It's got an eye mask in it. It's got body polish, it's, it even comes with a little candle and a little puffer. It's just, I'm looking forward to, to trying all these things. I think they'll be really, really lovely. And that smell, orange blossom, vanilla and jasmine, that just sounds so lovely. So looking forward to trying those. And let me see, let me see. I've got some stuff here as well. This I got, this is just, this is the kind of things that I absolutely live in. This was from TK Maxx. It's like a grey, it's like kind of sweatshirt material, like, like a thin sort of knit not even a knit, like kind, not quite, a cross between like wool and sweatshirt material, it's a weird kind of material, but this is the kind of thing I live in, like a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings, and sorry I'm doing this and like covering up my face, I don't know how to like show you, yeah, live in this kind of thing, but this one's got a bit of a different sort of detail, it's got like ruchy, ruchy, did I just make up, rougey, ruchy, the sleeves like bundle up like this with the little tie and you can like tie it in a knot and have the sleeves you know like up instead of being tied it's like a little bow thing so got that love it and also along the lines of like super comfy cozy i've already worn this a lot like a lot a lot a lot it probably needs washed it's just i just love it i can see myself wearing this till it is absolutely done and wobbly and still i will probably wear it more it is gorgeous this i call my hobo cardigan it's super long this again was from tk max and it's just i love it i absolutely love it it's got long sleeves it's very very long it's like long and just it's like i don't know you can see why i call it like my hobo cardigan because it's a bit kind of scruffy and slouchy and just cozy and i love it and i'll be wearing it around the house when i wasn't feeling well like as a instead of like a like with leggings and stuff like that instead of like wearing a dressing gown so that you're like a bit more dressed but it kind of feels like a dressing gown it's really cozy and next thing i got i got quite a few things from lush and this was one of the things this was you know like when it's all gift wrapped and all like nice the little gift set things that you get and this is let me see it's got a little i don't know what the scent of this is i'll show you this one first so it's got a little packing peanuts in it awkward this here smells absolutely gorgeous. Mark bought me this. It's like a little pear and that's the, I'm sure it's not just pear scented, it's like something pear, but it's, this is a soap and it smells so, so, I think this is a soap. Is this a soap? I don't know. I think this is a soap, but it's got like gold glitter all over it, which I'm surprised Mark got that because he absolutely detests glitter, like absolutely hates it with a passion. In fact, it's almost like a phobia. He hates it that much. But this smells so lovely. It's like fresh pear but like really sweet oh it's just it's really really gorgeous it smells lovely if you can hear noises in the background it's actually my i have two rabbits and we they used to live up the stairs and we've just recently moved them downstairs so if you can hear little, little noises in the background they've just been fed and so they're like thinking about eating their food so if you hear that little noises that's what it is this is shower gel and it is the rose jam shower gel looks like this it's like a lovely rich pink like dark pinky red color and it smells exactly like 
roses, like exactly like just that rose scented smell. It's really lovely. It smells gorgeous. Looking forward to using that. And the last thing that was in here is this. It's the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. So it's like moisturiser and it's not like pink coloured or anything, is it? Maybe a little. It's so hard to see that light. See when I turn that light off, I'm like, I can actually still see a ring in my eyes when even when the light's off. It's so bright. It just looks like this. And it smells exactly like the shower gel, like really, really strong rose smell. It's absolutely gorgeous. Nothing smells as strong as Lush stuff. They ju it just smells so lovely. Like this whole bag smells of that stuff, even though that's been in there and in the box. It just, it smells so gorgeous. Next thing I got, my mum picked me this up. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, but it's the Morgan Swears by the Palmer's. She absolutely, Morgan from Channel Miss Morgan. I'll link her channel at the end, but the clips that I'm going to show you have Morgan in it so I'll talk about her in the end but anyway my cousin Morgan she swears by the Palmer stuff but this is it's not it's like a gradual tanning thing so it's like the moisturizer but you put it on and it like builds up a tan I thought this would be good for using something like I really generally just use fake tan if I'm going out like for a night out or something I'll put it on the night before I'm gonna out and you know like shower it off the next day but I thought this would be good because I don't know if you can see my face I'm like just dug up kind of pale like really deathly pale and that's not just because I've been not well I'm like that's just naturally sort of just dug up kind of look and so I thought this would be good for putting on just to like you know give yourself a little bit of like I'm actually still alive kind of colour thought that would be nice so got that and the Palmer stuff smells absolutely gorgeous talking about Morgan she bought me these I'm looking forward to trying these because these are different it says wish upon a star and I sent a sensational selection of nine single use body wash pods perfect for travel size treats and they're like oh that light is glaring really really badly they're like little um circle pod things with little stars on them and so you take one of them in the shower and you wash with them I thought this was like a really novel idea I, and again it would be really 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 good for traveling with but I just like different stuff to try you know like I get bored using the same stuff and I thought this would be a good thing to try it's like new I've never seen anything like this before so looking forward to trying that I keep saying that looking forward to trying that but I really literally am looking forward to trying everything apart from the jammies I've not used anything that I got from Christmas not any body lotions nothing so I really am very excited about trying it all got this it says what's it say oh hey and it's a cactus and it's a little notebook with that with plain paper on the inside I love notebooks go through them loads and loads and loads of them I'm always writing lists and notes and stuff like that so absolutely love that Morgan got me that and there's a whole load of things down the bottom let me see we'll do this this is I'm only getting one of these out I think I just need to show you one don't I like you get the gist these Mark got me these were from Primark I saw them in Primark and I was doing Christmas shopping at the time and I didn't buy myself them and I must have mentioned them to Mark because he went in and got me them. Again, they're the thigh high ones. I really, really like these ones. But these ones are a little bit different where they've got the cut out, like, you know, like the peep toe. And then they've got the heel bit. Can you hear my rabbits? They're getting really, really noisy. The, they probably hear me speaking and think, why is she not giving us attention? She's just, she's speaking to us, surely in a room by herself anyway yeah so the cut out at the heel and the cut out at the toes so maybe these would be good for like spring because it's still pretty freezing here in spring but a bit warmer than winter I cannot imagine going about bare toed with the weather right now it's like minus two or something that's absolutely freezing anyway thigh high absolutely gorgeous these are more of a whereas there the other ones were like a velvet kind of material these are like a ribbed kind of just material material like not velvet not I don't even know how you would like very likely very stretchy so these would be good because they would fit I know people like with big calves struggle these would be maybe be good if you had big calves because they've got quite a lot of stretch in them but these fit really nicely and I really like them I seem to be liking the over the knee thigh high type thing I like it right let me see what else do we have three pairs of really bad glady light three pairs of my little pony socks ever so cute and this he picked up we bought the kids a whole load of like american candy and stuff like that and mark picked this up for me because it's rainbow dash from my little pony and it's fizzy cherry splash flavored drink and it's just like a little can of fizzy juice from america apparently and 
it's got my little pony on it so he bought me it so I will maybe try that after this video and in here this is nothing exciting so I'll just sort of show you these are my favorite leggings they come from M and Co and they're really good quality leggings and my aunt bought me them because they she knows I like them I'm not even going to take them in the pack they're literally just a black leggings so get me a couple of pairs of those and let me see jewelry this is my best friend Ian bought me this and this is absolutely gorgeous I hope this is going to show up on camera sorry about the rustling I'm going to move the bag away this is absolutely beautiful. It's like little diamante. I hope this is shown up. I really, really do hope this is shown up. It's like little diamante stones with um, purple stones. I'm not sure what the stone is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's the earrings and necklace set. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful and really classy looking, like really nice if you're all dressed up. I mean, you wouldn't have to be dressed up to wear these, but with like a black dress or something, this would look absolutely gorgeous. That and I'm out of puff. More Lush products. These are lip scrubs. One in the scent Honey, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love all honey sort of scented things. It smells really, really nice. Really sweet and really gorgeous. I love it. These are really good for exfoliating your lips. You just like put, can you hear them? Really? Really? Bun Bun. Elfernia. That's the rabbit's name. Bun Bun, which is the big white fluffy thing. And Elfernia, who's a little black thing. She's just absolutely gorgeous he is like a big brute he's the one that'll be making all the noise he's just so sweet and placid and quiet it's him that will be making all their noise because he's not getting attention anyway honey lip scrub from lush and a chocolate one how how nice is that they're so good they are so good it smells exactly in fact that must have orange in it because it smells like chocolate orange it does chocolate orange it's a chocolate orange it smells edible and I know that some people put that on their lips, thing with their lips with it, and then lick it off because I think all the ingredients in it are actually edible. Oh my goodness, it's so good because it's a sugar scrub, so it's like sugar and all natural things. So I don't like, I don't do that, but I mean, I do maybe like have a little taste while it's on my lips, and it does taste really, really good. So there's that. Next thing, another lip product from Lush. I've had this before, and I really like it. It's the Honey Trap Lip Balm. It's just plain on the inside. Looks like this. It smells really lovely. It's just, it's really, really honey smelling, very similar to that. Really, really gorgeous. Really, really moisturizes your lips. It's absolutely gorgeous. Comes in little tin. I really like that. And these, now, how many? I think there's three of these. And I'm gonna, I'll just open one. These are all the same. These are called Scrub, Scrub B, as in like B, like a, oh, this bag. There, there we go. Anyway, scrub bee as in like a bumblebee. They're all the, although they're in different packaging, it's the same thing. Mark got me these a little while ago. These are gorgeous. These are like, I can't say enough good things about them. They smell exactly like the, I talked about the Honey I Wash The Kids scent, being my favorite smell in the whole world. That's what scent these are, the Honey I Wash The Kids. I don't think I've ever hauled these before, I don't think. These are a game changer, I'm telling you. These, it exfoliates you. I'll show you it and then I'll tell you about it. So it looks like a little bee. If you look closely, it's got like little stripes on it, but the more you use it, the more you see the little stripes are. They, and the little stripes are so like brown stuff under here and in little stripes. And you rub it on your skin like this and it exfoliates your skin. It does a really, really good job of exfoliating your skin. Smells, favorite smell in the whole world. Honey, I wish the kids. It just smells so good but it also really moisturizes your skin. So not only, like in the shower, you can just do quick all over, you don't have to moisturize when you come out the shower, which is what I am all about. I really do hate moisturizing. It's just like an extra step. If when I come out the shower, I hate even getting dried. If I could just get a machine, I could just go in and just be dried instantly, I would love that. I'm just lazy, just really, really lazy. But Yes, you don't have to moisturise if you use this. It's absolutely brilliant and it exfoliates you and moisturises you at the same time. And it smells like honey, I wash the kids. Do you get any better than that? I don't think so. But now I'm already well stocked up. I've got three of them and I've got a little slitherer one left in the shower. So got a good stock of those. Got these. These are little cosy socks and they're in little, like little penguin type face thing. Cute. I love cosy socks. 
here we go and next thing i got was this i absolutely love this it's actually come out it's little it was in a little sleeve thing this is a file of facts. i remember people like using file of faxes and talking about file of faxes being a big thing like years and years ago i don't know if they're such a big thing now but i love organizers and planners and stuff like this and i just oh there's like i don't know if you can see that i hate that when they put the sticker on there's like sticker residue where it's come off this is like a little mini planner it's just it's awesome i just i really love it it's in neon neon pink which is just lovely how much would that brighten up your day just like in your handbag sitting filling in your wee notes and it's nice and bright i love it it's got a little card slots here so you can put like little cards in it's got a little pouch thing here that you can put like i don't know little appointment cards or business cards or whatever you want to put in there and then it's got your you know little notebook things your little loads of different bits and then little bits for dates appointments and stuff like that to put in it's also got like a little file thing for like contacts names and addresses but everybody has them on their phone nowadays so i don't think i think i'll probably take that out but it's literally only a few pages if it was all taken up with that it wouldn't be so good because then you'd be left with you know not enough room for anything else but i just think it's really really good i'll take out the wee contact bits and i just think it's excellent it also comes with little what do you call them like po pocket like a little mini poly pocket type thing and it also comes with a little ruler that attaches to it there so if you like writing stuff and you want to like underline it or whatever you've got it there i just think it's adorable and it's perfect they had this size this was one of those things that like i asked mark to get me they had this, uh, this was from tk maxx they had this size and they had the bigger size but i've made the mistake before of getting the bigger size and then you can't fit it in your handbag and when you're out and you're like oh i wish i had my thing because i've written that in it and instead of having like a big one and a little one i just have one and it sort of does everything so looking forward to using that let me see what else have we got we're coming to the end we are coming to the end this is i don't know how to pronounce this is it gaia gaia it's G-A-Y-A, -A. it's mineral makeup, and this is mascara, and it is in black. There's probably no point, there's no point in me, it comes in a little gold thing like this. I think he got this online. It's like a, I don't know, I think it's like, is it natural? It's mineral makeup anyway, I don't know, he got me this to try. It's mascara, there's no point in me opening it up, so there's that. I was actually in need of new mascara, I don't even think that he knew this, but he got me it anyway. He's good. This bag is like... Look, just wants to be in shop. Look, this does not want to stay away. Anyway, this, I'm not going to open it up, but it's a Honey I Wash the Kids big block of soap. Absolutely love it. So there's that. And I think we might be on to the very last thing, are we? Yes, we are. This is the very last thing. This is the same make that Gaia, Gaia, um, and this is mineral lipstick, and this is in the shade, what shade are you, do you see? I do not know what shade you are. I don't know what colour it is. I'll see if it says on the inside. Hold on. Can't get it out. This is cruelty free makeup as well. I think that's probably why I got it because sometimes you can, it's hard to get. It says the earth, nature's wonders. What? The earth? Nature's. What? Natural wonders of the earth. That's what it says on it and it is in the shade Sweet Raspberry. It doesn't look particularly raspberry, it's more like a, see it was a little bit, oh it does actually on camera look a little bit raspberry like this. But this is the kind of shade, it's kind of similar to the shade that I'm wearing. This is my, he's really good at picking colours, like this is exactly the kind of colour I would go for. Absolutely love it. So there's that, oh, I'm out of breath. I get to try all my stuff now and use all my stuff, I'm very excited and I get to, there we go that's better anyway quick explanation if you're even interested just to, as to why i've not been around on the 12th of december i went into hospital to have a lumbar puncture which was fine it went sort of okay ish the first doctor that did it it was meant to take like 15 minutes to half an hour it ended up taking an hour because the first doctor couldn't get the thing she had to get another doctor in yada yada it took a lot longer than it was meant to Second doctor was fine, he had it done, no bother, wasn't even that sore when he did it. First doctor, it was pretty sore. Anyway, that was fine, got it done afterward. afterwards, I started feeling really dizzy. I ended up in bed for about a week feeling dizzy. Every time I would stand up, I would sort of fall over to the side. Um, I just felt really, really awful after it, so that left me way behind on 
shopping for Christmas and stuff because I hadn't done all my Christmas shopping so I had to like really really hurry up and do all that then there was Christmas this is the reasons for me not having a video up by the way and then so I had to do all that and then there was Christmas which I was totally fine for Christmas absolutely fine I put a couple of clips in at the end of Morgan and I having a carry on we had such a good time on Christmas we went up to my aunt Linda's house who is Morgan's mum Morgan is from is my cousin and she is from the channel Miss Morgan and I'll, I'll put a link to her channel below she's absolutely lovely really love her adore her she's lovely and I'm not just saying that because she's my cousin she is literally lovely and we had such fun together on Christmas day and we were like mucking about and like dancing like idiots like you know like just going crazy we just had a laugh so I'm going to put a few a couple of clips of the two of us having a carry on and yes so that's it and then I had the flu and then we all kind of had the flu after Christmas so that's kind of what what's taken me so long to film my video anyway I'm back and it's a new year and I very much intend on I'm not making promises but I very much intend on putting more videos up I really do because I really enjoy it and I enjoy interacting with you and all your messages and stuff it's something that I mean I don't do it for money and I don't do it for anything I literally do it because I really do like doing it and so I really want to get back into doing more and not leaving a month in between videos so anyway there we go i'll put the clips now i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you soon thank you so much for watching guys bye